They could have Somebody could have said, hey man, just like happened before, Chase said, oh, my shop got broken into, I, got, I can't finish your jobs, I got thousands of dollars to get out. It could have been, hey Joe, I'm coming over, I'm almost there, I'm almost there. He had five calls, 8.39, hey, I'm here, uh, I'll meet you at the bank or whatever. You're gonna, my brother was going to give him money again, who knows, it could have been that. I, I, that's a possibility too. But I can tell you one thing, Let's they see. got pulled away from the house by somebody that was comfortable to them. Mm -hmm. Because there was no struggle. Yeah, no struggle. How and, okay. Now somebody seen the vehicle leave that night. I don't know who. Now that's what they tell you. Do you know what they look like? The lady. No, no. Well, the lady two doors down, three doors down, maybe. She said she called the detective and told him that she remembered that she had seen a big truck, white truck, pull up here. A white truck. Yeah, big Chase white. has a white truck with a gray truck. It's an old SBC truck. There you go. It's a Chevy 2500 with a box truck on back. She said that she called the detective and she said she remembers. How long ago did she call the detective? I don't know. Well, which door is it? Let's go knock on her door. I'll go talk to her right now. She's got some. Well, well, we can write it and bring it back over. I'll bring it to you if, you, if you'll just hang, hang tight. All right. They're riding on the back one of my business. So, Mike, just just go over this with me for quickly. So, you the the lady that lives here, do you believe that they she saw a, tr a white truck? Listen, don't um, say anything else about it. I don't know. Okay. I'm just, you know what? I'm a concerned brother, and I'm just doing everything I can. And I'm not slinging any mud. I'm just mm -hmm. doing my own thing. So possibly, okay. and if so, I'll pass along to the detectives and let them exactly. do their job. Ramos told us investigators recovered more than 100 pieces of evidence from the desert. Could you pick up tire tracks all those years later in the desert? It was nearly four years later. Uh, yes, uh, we've been known to be able to do that, especially in a part of the desert. A lot of folks aren't driving to those secluded, isolated places, so any tire tracks or any evidence would be preserved. Go up the wash. Oh, no, I might have cut that off. This is the wash, I believe. It's hard to say because there's. Oh, it's just hard to say. I'm going to real deep gravel. Really fine gravel. Oh boy. I'm going to say right. Oh, there they are. Oh my gosh. There should be a 
white spot appear in the wash if it's the same. Um, I don't think it is. You find somewhere to pull off but so you won't be in the gravel. Now where everybody else has me. Oh, there you go. The tracks are there. Barely. Really? But I see them. Yes. They were, uh oh. Okay, um, the tracks are still there. They're pretty worn, but they're still there. Um, from this spot right here, you can barely see, I can see the tops of semis, but other than that, I couldn't really see any cars. Walking down here, you can see the second set of tracks. It has I to think this is all the investigation. No, honey, you can see this on the Google Maps. You can see these tracks. I can't believe these are still here. It's We're consistently getting 65, which I think is smaller than what we had thought. But these tracks are very, very worn. The only thing we can really do is measure from the center of the track to the center of the track, and it's, you know, your guess is as good as mine as far as where that is. Um, so, as you can see, maybe you can't see, we just tried to find the deepest points in the track and measured from there to there. Um, let me try one more spot. And I also wanted to demonstrate, oh, sorry, this ground. It's pretty, looks like gravel. It's actually not hard to dig. It's not as hard as I thought it would be. That's pretty darn easy, actually. That's all they had to deal with, and Easy peasy, right? Look at that. And that's only that far from the grave. Not even behind the grave. And freeway's totally visible from this point. So they were kind of hidden behind the little right. the gravesite. We're checking the time back to the freeway and the distance. Ouch. Four <laughs> Sorry about the glare from the crack in the windshield. <laughs> you know, if everybody on that Facebook page pitched in a dollar, I'd get it back. This is just sound like static. There's the exit Stoddard Well Road right there. Whatever. <sighs> Pretty narrow little watch. Oh, poor truck. Down at the bottom of the wash. I'm turning on to the little gravel road. I imagine whoever was leaving probably wanting to drive a little bit faster than this, but we've done enough to our truck for today. <laughs> this where Quarry Road, Quarry Road? Yeah, changed his name when it turns to dirt, or meat that merges, I believe.
held to the freeway from the grave site. In less than three minutes. There you go. Boom. Off to the big state house. Could one person kill a family of four, bury the bodies 100 miles north in the Mojave Desert, drop the car 250 miles south at the Mexico border? Is one, could one person do all that and then return home to make it look like he was home that night to receive a phone call from Joseph McStay? Yes. It's and we possible. have the evidence to prove that.